Good morning, everyone. Today we celebrate the feast of Saint Thomas. Now, people say oh, that's old, old doubting Thomas. You know, he was the fellow who wasn't in the upper room when uh, Jesus appeared to the disciples, and so when uh, he came back, they said to him, "No, Jesus was here, and he, he couldn't accept that." And so he's always accused of being, you know, the doubting one. I think we need to, uh, so just to put that in perspective. The fact that he was doubting didn't mean that he disbelieved it. What he was saying, he wasn't rejecting it, let's put it that way. He wasn't saying, I don't believe it. What he was saying is, I need proof. And you say, well, okay, that's splitting his. Uh, isn't that our situation? We sort of say, well, you know, we, we sometimes might not believe things, um, but we're actually just looking for a little more evidence. It, 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 it'd be quite useful if we had a bit of evidence, and that would make it conclusive for us. So the fact that we might doubt something doesn't necessarily mean that we're rejecting it. It might simply mean that we are challenging it. So Thomas wasn't necessarily being a bad guy in that regard. I think it's important that we also see that there's a distinction between doubt and skepticism. Now, to be skeptical simply would be to be dismissive in, a, um, in an uncharitable way. I don't care, I don't mind, that just means nothing to me, you know. <laughs> It's not likely, you know, that's skeptical. Not likely at all. I don't think Thomas was doing that. Uh, Thomas had been with Jesus and there were many things that uh, he had experienced with him. So the whole idea of uh, Jesus appearing to the disciples, particularly if there was a whole bunch of them saying, look, yeah, he has appeared, might have seemed a bit strange. And perhaps Thomas in some sort of way was maybe a bit jealous about the fact that he hadn't been there. Um, and so it was that Jesus appeared to him a, a week later or so and said, here, come put your hand into my side and, and feel the wounds. And Thomas then was convinced, my Lord and my God. We ourselves might go through some doubts in terms of our own religion. There are things that the Catholic Church might be telling us, which will say, well, you know, I, I, I need a bit more proof. The problem is that to try to find proof in terms of matters of religion and faith and so forth is difficult if not impossible because we need to get to a stage where we believe in God and with God all things are possible even those that we don't understand and so we put ourselves perhaps in the position of Thomas sort of saying yeah I need the proof but I'm still on the right side of, of, of accepting what is right and in the meantime I'll keep coming back and so let's be positive today and make sure that we are on the right side not walking away you have a wonderful day and we'll see you again God bless. Bye-bye.